Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video and happy Dawn Trail. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Sun Glit Aether Sand with Spear Fishing. So, number one, you need level 95 and above Fisher to get this area here in Yachtel. To the right of where you landed from the balloon. And if this kind of freaks you out, I would probably skip this method. Kind of freaked me out at first. Anyway, you're going to be looking for the Sun Prism Fish. Which is going to be this little guy here. It's a small fish. I believe it's a fast small one. So make sure Clutcher's Glut is on. Use Nature's Bounty. And there it is. It's not really fast. It's just slightly faster than the slowest one, which is the Fate Gazer. Let's pop it again. Sometimes it'll pop up, sometimes it won't. So that's the Fate Gazer because it's a little slow. So it's kind of hard to discern which one it is. Oh, it's already high quality, or large. Alright, so there's just two. So the good thing what they did this time is they swapped the crystals. So I'm getting ice, we're getting water. I believe. Yes, we get water now instead of ice. And we got a bonus, nice. And another eight. I guess that wasn't a bonus. Hmm. So I guess eight is the maximum. I guess 16 might be a bonus. But yeah, that's how you guys get the Sunglit Aether Sand through Spear Fishing. The other one, which is through Bait and Tackle, see if I can remember where it was so here it is I found it so it's in Kazam Kazamauka right about here the Marsh Lagaka I love the names by the way it's the uh, shovel nose catfish this is the reductible one for the sunglit aether sand it's going to be a powerful hook set and you need the popper lure to gather them. The wait time for it is pretty long, so you'll know exactly which one it is. As for the other ones, this one's precision, this one's precision, and this one is powerful, and this one has to be gotten through the folklore book. So, if you surface slap the spotted stingray, you'll know that the shovel nose catfish is the only one that you guys can get. You can also use the Ambitious Lure, not 100% guarantee, but using it can increase your chances of getting a powerful hook set fish. But it literally will tell you that you have a feeling you're going to get it, but it's still not 100% triggerable. So you can use that to get it a little bit easier. Okay, but that is how you guys get the Sun Glit Aether Sand with Fisher. So hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and help with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys want to support my channel even further, consider becoming a YouTube member, Patreon supporter, or help me on Ko-Fi. The links for those will be in the description down below, as well as my Discord. I also want to give a thanks to all my YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and Ko-Fi members. And an extra special shout out to the members on screen. So until next time, if you ever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Take care.